Hello, this is Chucky, and this is a quick follow-up tutorial on using features in Photoshop Elements 14. My previous one, if you haven't already seen it, is the Shake Reduction feature. This one is the Haze Reduction feature. So let's jump right in. This is a photo of the Horse Tooth Reservoir, the little mountains over there in Fort Collins. And as you can see, there's multiple mountains, and there's a lot of haze. And I want to get rid of this. So let's jump right in and try and remove this haze. I'm going to duplicate the layer using a Command J. I'm going to make a couple different layers because I'm going to use the auto and the manual features. If we go under the enhance menu, you can see that there is the auto haze removal and we have the shortcut right there. So I'm going to click on it and see how good it gets rid of the haze. It takes a few seconds to determine what is haze and it doesn't do such a bad job. As you can see here, I will turn off the visibility layer in the layers palette. As you can see, it's pretty hazy, and then we get a little bit more definition in the sky right here, and there's just a tiny bit more haze that's removed right there. Um, it's okay. I'm going to turn the visibility layer off again, go to the layer below it, and now I'm going to use the haze removal manual feature. It's going to take a few seconds. I am going to push the haze reduction all the way to the right and see how good we get. Now the mountains right here are getting pretty good. You can see that there is the before and after just like in the shake reduction. You can see the before and then the after. The only problem that I see is anywhere there is an object you can see there's some haloing right around here. Same thing is over here. So it's looking like they're using some sort of a clarity algorithm here. I will even push it further to the right and see how much haze we can get rid of. Now that's looking really good, but as you can see once again, it looks really terrible right next to these trees. There's that really bad haloing effect. Now we're able to get rid of some of the haze in the sky and that is really beautiful but the problem is that the clouds are getting really dark over here so I probably wouldn't push the haze reduction that far. Then we also have the sensitivity that's kinda like the amount that it's going to get rid of as you can see as I slide that over to the right it's going to try to get rid of more of that as I slide it over to the left. It's going to get rid of a little bit less. It's going to be a little less sensitive there. So there's another way that we can do this just like I did in my shake reduction tool. We could push this pretty far over here and then we could select OK. And then mainly if we want to get our clouds back what we could do is we could hold the option or the alt key down and add a layer mask to this and then paint in the sky where we wanted some of that haze to be removed. Now we want to put white in the foreground. We want to select the brush tool. Once again, I'm at 9% opacity and I'm going to set my brush a little bit larger here maybe not that large <laughs> and then we're going to go to the brush settings and make sure once again that this hardness is set at zero and then we can paint in the sky right here and bring some of that haziness down just by painting in there now we're not going to be able to recover a whole lot from the mountains because as you remember the mountains had this weird effect on these trees right there but we can save quite a bit of this sky and the clouds. Now I don't want to concentrate too much here because remember that was a little bit black over there because I pushed it really high. But as you can see some of the clouds they're returning and some of the blueness in the clouds maybe even some of the top of the mountains here. That is horse tooth right there. As you can see, this looks kind of like horse's teeth right there. But I'm going to paint on this until my sky returns. Now I'm going to turn the visibility layer off here and you can see that it does get rid of a little bit of the haze in the sky and we're not bothered with that halo effect that's around this tree. So I'd probably give this one an okay rating, but 
you're probably going to have to mask some of that off to be able to get rid of some of the haze. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos. If you have a question, put it in the comments, or you can send me an email at info at simplyawesomephotography.com. Cheers!